we're gonna start. Um, well, are you also joining our challenge or not? And you? Yeah? You're just two visitors. Okay, great. Then I'm happy to have here my the group of people that worked the last eight hours on a great challenge. And I'm really curious what you guys came up with. Uh, but first, I'd like to introduce our, our jury, Charlotte Biscop. She's our social media expert. And Nando Castellani is our tech uh, journalist uh, for, uh, for the NOS both. And uh, they're going to check your concepts on, uh, on the criteria we set. So news relevance, personal experience, sense of humor, uh, and differentiating from the app we have. Um, but yeah, as I said, we're just going to do it very informal because there's not, not no big prizes to win, just a lot of fun. And, and we'd like to s just really see what you guys came up with um, as, as we have some thoughts on chatbots. But probably less than you guys have. Who wants to start? Maybe you guys want to start? Okay. So I can ask your names. But these are Hector and Edwin, right? Hector and Edwin. H Hector is from Spain and Edwin is from the Netherlands. And they've built a bot based on Telegram. So um, the floor is yours, I think. Let's, uh, let's shall we say, how, how Okay, uh, we'll do sort of the five minutes way of, uh, yeah. uh, can they plug in their Mac? Can they plug it in? Okay. All right, so uh, I am positive you that all of you know the Telegram messaging platform, which is an uh, alternative to, um, to Facebook Messenger, which was released uh, way before it. And it's actually, you know, the um, release of the bot platform on, on Telegram happened way before uh, Facebook came up with the idea. So Facebook actually, since they acquired the WhatsApp messaging app, uh, they've been kind of copying everything Telegram has been doing for the last pa uh, two past years. So um, this is one of the main reasons why we chose Telegram, because we believe that innovation is an important factor in the development of, of the industry. And it's um, and like everyone's going to go to, f to Facebook, yes, because um, they already have this social media. But uh, many people like me and myself, for example, um, believe that Telegram is important because it provides an open source alternative and like more ethical for many people since uh, they are not in the, you know, um, how would I say it? The share like share all you do stuff right so basically we've been checking out uh, the options that the telegram bots platform provide to the developers and users and it's kind of more or less what facebook telegram does i mean they kind of pretty much offer the same thing so far so actually all, all we've gotten to do uh with python because we've been working on python we're not professional python programmers but there's no trouble in really getting up getting um, the concept running of like keep me up to date in the every day, like the top ten news or tap. Oh, yeah, sorry. Concept. Same concept. All right. So, yeah, the concept is basically that one. Okay. The you you basically have the the main the main characteristic of it is just you could get into it. Yeah. Hey, the bot. The, the the important thing is that the bot gets to meet the user. And it can keep that r a relationship with the same user, so it'll learn its preferences. And every day in, in the beginning, it'll be like, okay, keep me up to date with the top news of the day. And it'll just feed you with, uh, I don't know, th basically like um, generic top 10 news, but it'll let you upvote and downvote news, so it'll learn from your preference, actually. And behind the scenes, it'll start like assigning topics to every single news. So after you've been using it for a couple of three days, 
it'll actually uh, only give you, uh, you know, like a preview of the um, of news it, th it thinks you might be interested in. Also, the Telegram Bots API features integration with artificial intelligence services so that it actually provides human-like interaction with the bot. So you would actually have no problem really uh, talking to it as if it were a human. Because, you know, like, bots are cool, are working, but simply uh, the the interface they provide is like, okay, they receive a message with a single uh, word or a, se or a series of words and you match them to a dictionary. So that's cool to work with, but people don't really feel like they're talking to a, to a bot, right? I mean, th they don't really want that. They want to be talking to a human. So it actually provides the bot with uh, the, the possibility of even sending emojis, like reactions to them. So for example, if you're feeling down uh, one day and you feel, okay, I want to cheer myself up. How, how about we find some of the cool things that have happened today? Like, I don't know, you say, I'm feeling a bit down. Like, what do you have for me? It could actually look, look up uh, news or news items in which people have reacted positively so that they would cheer you up. Also, we've noticed that on the on the um, on your news site, you uh, many times you provide like for special news like live live updates of, um, or, uh, along the time. So if your API provided with support for this, we should, uh, you could actually, for example, say, okay, it'll give you like breaking news, and you, you'd say, okay, keep me up, definitely keep me up to date with this because I'm so interested. Even if you didn't match your topics. All right, so every time your site would update the, its news, like with a new paragraph, like, I don't know, uh, 3 p.m., we've known that, I don't know, more survivors from the, f from the, pl from the plane crash. It, it'll just automatically tell you, like wherever you are, you'd get a push notification, and you'd say, okay, this has definitely happened. Also, it features integration with groups, so that if, I don't know, you have a group with your friends, you can have the bot tell all of you, so you can discuss at the same time uh, everything around the, that specific news. So that's basically it, it's live updates, human-like interaction, and um, what we said before about uh, keeping you up to date every day or you know, with the frequency that you want. That's it, thank you. Yeah. So basically the demo we have up and running is just this. I mean, you go with the start command, which is a uh, standard for Telegram. It's like you launch the bot, it'll, keep, uh, it'll generate a register for your user and it'll, uh, yeah, of course, it can use modules, and it'll ask you if you want, want it to automatically tell you, like, everyday uh, updates of the top top 10 news. So you'll go with, yeah, for, exa for example, you go with, yeah. Isn't it working now? Okay, cool. Yes, uh, live problems, which are awesome. So basically, it'll give you, I don't know, we have it, um, okay. Yeah, so you basically uh, also uh, it features a markdown, so like you can uh, get bold, uh, italic, and all kinds of special um, formatting text. Uh, so they, uh, it's actually more rich than just plain text and videos and so on. So actually, um, I don't know. From uh, also, to, uh, Telegram features previews from from web page. For I've seen also, for example, that many times you embed tweets and uh, section from social media into your website. You just could uh, write down the um, the URL from that tweet, and Telegram would automatically give you a preview of the tweet and the uh, and the person who tweeted it. So that's basically the platform we're doing. Okay. So any questions? How would you proceed oh, from um, after after you get the first headlines? What will you do after? Yeah, we're working on it, and uh, actually, you can reply directly to, directly to a message, or you could either uh, still uh, add a, like more to it button. Like, um, yes, this is this is cool. Like, tell me more about this, and I'll give you like um, a brief summary of the news. And if you're still more interested, you'll tell them, okay, l let me read through the whole through the whole thing. Uh, p for example, pause you the I don't know the main paragraphs of the of the news. M maybe even like if it, it even has it, it doesn't have to like upload the whole payload because it can be, uh, I don't know, a bit um, impressing. So it wouldn't really collapse the whole thing. You can have like in a single box of text, it, it, can, fi uh, it can have like live updates on the same message. So you get like to uh, move pages around in, in still the same box of, of text. Yes. Uh, 
Um, can you tell me more about how you would integrate a live blog into uh, the app? You 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 you, ma you, uh, you mentioned the live blog. We use them a lot uh, in in big breaking news. Would you integrate the live blog directly into the app so that like you can say on this subject I want to be uh, speaking constantly about this? How would you do that? Yeah. So if I understood right, you like you you're talking about breaking news. So every time you uh, post a live update on your site. It gets okay. So we could do it both. Uh, we, we could do this both ways. I mean, like a couple ways. So uh, the first one, which is the easy one for you, you, we just need a, like a small adjustment in your API, so that we can identify which news are likely to be updated, and we'd keep the the ID of that new. So constantly, like we're refreshing our news. So like every five minutes, we refresh them and specifically uh, specifically search for those news with said ID. And if they have, I mean, like the last published uh, or yeah, or the last modified. Uh, field has changed. We'd uh, let every user who has subscribed to them, to them, that something new has happened, and the the content that has been added uh, in the last, I mean, since he was la since they were last updated, they will be sent to them. Also, you could actually send a push, no uh, like a push notification to our server, and it will just without us, uh, without the need for us, without us needing to refresh the information uh, d uh, manually, the user could get the, the update directly. About the push notifications, uh, we use them with like big breaking news and send them. I think uh, a couple of times a week maximum. Um, I don't think you will send every matches like a push not push notification. Uh, but how would you choose that? How uh, because it's for us very important to to send push notifications to people. Um, have you t uh, thought about how you will do that? How you will push things to people? Right. So currently, um, I believe that bots do uh, allow for the for the developer to select which messages um, trigger a push notification or not. So like not yeah like a notification in the notification center of the platform. So for example, things like the top ten news of every day. Maybe you don't want them to trigger a notification, so the the user wouldn't feel like disturbed by it. But if it were breaking news or or something that the sp the user has specifically chosen to be to to be kept updated on, you could. Actually, with no problem, trigger uh, that such notification. Uh, last one, I think. Uh, I'm wondering, you were saying like uh, the bot can send you uh, content that you're really interesting interested in, um, like it knows your yeah, like your interests. But how does that work? How do you find out the interests of some of of the? Yeah, so like every time uh, you get a, you're actually reading a piece of news, uh, you since you can actually talk to the bot at the same time, like you could actually um, use an, an emoji, like you, you we could feature button saying, okay, I'm interested in this, like it is say, okay, so this news this news belongs to the topic of uh, technology, so if you constantly upvote uh, news from the t from that topic, it'll learn that you're definitely interested in that, whereas if you'd never upvote uh, news from the t from that uh, have the topics uh, of po like politics or economy, it will understand that you're sim no longer interested in those. And also, uh, you could actually tell them, oh yeah, like directly, I'm interested about this. Or why do, you do why why are you giving them are giving me this information that could also take uh, be taken into account negatively. It could definitely. I mean, there's there shouldn't be any problem with that. It's uh, it that depends because many users. I don't know. Some users mi might want to interact with the bot um, in a more like machine human way, but many users would like it to. I don't know to do that. So how how do you, what do you think about this? How do you like this news? So you could actually di directly talk to them and say, yeah, this, that was nice. Problem. So thanks a lot for this presentation. A big applause, I think. So who's next? Who wants to do the, the next presentation? Maybe you got you want to do? Come on up, Paige. So um, I forgot your name. Frederick. Yeah, Frederick from Germany has also made his own uh, presentation. Um,
Hello. I'm going to give you the Okay, hi. I'm Frederick. And uh I must admit I did not put so much thought into uh the whole thing. I just thought um yeah, it would be cool if um I could make a bot that would interact naturally so that you don't have to use any commands and stuff like that, but uh, you can actually uh, simply ask a question or something like that and he would understand you and give you uh, a response. So um, I also use Telegram because I had some issues with the Facebook API. It is a little bit more complicated to set up, so I did not want to waste my time basically. So uh, I also use Telegram. Yeah, and. Um, So, actually, that is a bit hard to do. <laughs> okay, I don't know why he said that, but okay. Um, so the idea was that I can enter a question, for example, or, or give um, a statement like, uh, yeah, please, uh, give me the latest news about Mark Zuckerberg and then he will do that, so I'll try that. Uh, so, um, yeah, the presentation is not really nice, so uh, he's now simply just uh, analyze the sentence. I uh, used the Watson API from IBM so that uh, <laughs> yeah, he, he uh, can find the subject I'm looking for in my sentence. And uh, then I simply matched it with the, the news articles we had, the categories, and looked if, if uh, we can find something. And uh, yeah, now uh, I think that you can improve the presentation so that uh, it's not just a blob of text. But uh, I ha haven't used the bot API before, so I did not really know uh, what my options were. And uh, I also thought, yeah, it would be cool if you could summarize uh, the things. So uh, you can simply say summary after the text, and then uh, you will get a summary of that news article. Uh, I don't speak any Dutch, so I don't know if this is rubbish or not. <laughs> Maybe it is. Uh, it makes any sense, but maybe not. So um, I'm also using another API to get the summary. Yeah, and uh, I also thought that it would be cool if the bot would uh, could have some gimmicks. Like for example, there is, uh, or better, there was an API that you can use to add a mustache, for example, to to any image. So you can simply say, uh, okay, these news are really bad and I need something to cheer me up. Maybe I can say mustacheify and then I'll get an image of that news article with a mustache or stuff like that. But unfortunately that didn't work. I really tried to do that. Yeah, but um, the um, ways to analyze the text are really cool because um, you can also, for example, add some dates to that query and it will also work. So for example, Then he checks that, and now, for example, he finds that around Monday, May uh, 25th, May of 2015, there were no contents. So, uh, yeah, he actually can find the date in the query, and you can uh, really extend that a lot more so that, um, yeah, you have uh, pretty powerful query uh, potentials without having to learn any commands at all. And I thought that would be really nice. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you very much. It's really interesting to see the different way of approaching it. Um, and it's, it's funny because Nanda wrote the article, so uh, it's good to see it back. Uh, some questions. Yeah, um, the summary, uh, how does it, uh, it takes it out of the text? Because the summary is it's pretty good. Um, I think it's the third paragraph of the, of the, the story. So um, I'm really wondering how does the boot bot chooses that? Okay, so I did not compose that by myself, but uh, there is a web service called Summary. And there you can uh, enter a text and say how, much, how many sentences you want to have. And then uh, he will give you a summary, which is, I know it from uh, Reddit, for example, there's a bot for that. And uh, for English, English text, it works really surprisingly well. So, uh, yeah. Uh, but it might also be something that we should do in our in our job to just have it a summary provided, right? It could be a recommendation. Or maybe not, in the if we can do it this way. Um, it uses now buttons to use natural language. Um, in which way does it understand it? Um, how specific do you need do you need to be to ask things? Uh, you don't really need to be really specific, so um, uh, it looks for entities in the text. So, for example, if it uh, detects a company or a person or stuff like that, you will find it. And then uh, the sentence does not need to be really accurate, because that is pretty, I think, comparatively easy to find. But then uh, if he does not find an entity, he tries to find the object of the sentence, what you are writing about. And that is a bit more complicated and often does not work that well. But uh, in some cases, it also works pretty good. So, uh, But then uh, you, d you actually need to, to uh, create a somewhat valid sentence. You can't just w put words one after the other. It must be kind of correct. And um, does the bot only choose one article that, um, or, or can you choose between, w because you said, I want the latest news about Mark Zuckerberg, and then it, it gave one article about Mark Zuckerberg. Um, is, <laughs> is that all it does? Yeah, right now it uh, just returns the first one that matches. So uh, the latest one, if you don't specify any date, um, but yeah, I think uh, I haven't looked into the Telegram bot API so deeply, but I think there's also the possibility to present several results and so that the user then uh, can choose one. Yeah, I think don't think that that would be a big problem, but yeah, I did not do it now. <laughs> Thank you very much. Great. Who, who wants to be next? All right, Vincent, the floor is yours. Um, who is out there? Vincent. Vincent and Felix, both from the Netherlands. We don't have the cable. We don't have the uh, HDMI cable. So we'll just do do a, a round of uh, uh, in between questions. How did, did you like the campus party so far? Uh, it was nice. <coughs> I'm tired. Uh, I haven't slept for 30 hours. So. That was nice. Oh. Oh, okay. We'll just do another round. 
And uh, how about you? How, how many hours did you uh, before you slept? Uh, how do you mean? Did you sleep last night or did you stay up to work on challenges? Uh, I went to bed at four. Oh wow! And you got up at uh, eight again. Oh wow! That's also a very short night. How about you? Well, last last night di I did have some sleep, but last night I, I've been I was participating in cha some challenges, so I've been having uh, as, as few as three hours of sleep lately. I feel a bit old now. <laughs> How about you, Frederick? Well, uh, last night I slept quite long, I think, uh, because I only got up at 11. <laughs> but yeah, the night before it was pretty short. I heard you want a ticket to New York, right? Well, yes, one of us did. So we still have to decide. Two of us will go, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we still hope that maybe we'll get uh, one ticket more. But probably that won't happen. So, yeah, a coin toss maybe. <laughs> yeah, someone who, met, uh, who I met here. Okay, then uh, we'll just start with. Um, yeah, there's a fish, yeah. You have the. That's the. Okay, yeah. Milad and Desiree. They're from Netherlands and? From Belgium. Belgium. Oh, but you don't speak Dutch or Flemish. But. You speak Fre your French at home. Okay. Oh, this also works. Oh, now we have both. Vincent, are you ready? Yeah, you're already connected. Okay, so n again, um, the floor is for Vincent. Uh, All right, um, the presentation is like half half in Dutch, so uh, please forgive me for that. Just the, the slides are, but I'll be talking in English. Um, so uh, my buddy and I, we made a bot before, so we kind of had the basics ready, and we wanted to make something uh, that could really use this medium uh, to make it, to make the news accessible in this type of, uh, in this type of medium. So we asked ourselves the question like, um, which problem do we want to solve, right? So me personally, I'm, I'm this kind of person that doesn't follow the news. So I don't, I don't have a news app. Uh, I don't look on news websites. Uh, I don't watch television. I don't have a television. I don't have a newspaper. Um, my girlfriend has The Economist. Um, that's it. And sometimes through Facebook or Twitter, some news trickles down to me, right? So... Uh, I'm I'm this so in Dutch so I don't follow the news so there's a whole group of people that says this. However, like they are still interested in what's happening, what gebeurt there, right? There's many literature about this, so it has this whole subject. Like people still want to know, people still want to know what happens in the world or around them or with their friends, but um, they don't follow the news. As it is. So, th th which means that the news is not a product in which they see value because they don't choose to, right, consume this. So that's why we created the NOS Buddy. It's just a working title. Um, how does it work? So, um, people select news, right? So um, we've seen in all this research and in all the things that people want to have personalized news. So, what is personalized news? It's what's happening, you need to know what's happening about things you care about. So Facebook is popular because you get news of people you care about and some people you don't care about. But um, And it's really good at filtering this. So the NOS is basically a news service, which means they provide stuff, they provide information about what's happening, about topics, not the people that you know, but the topics you know, or the topics you care about, or maybe some new topics that you might care about. So the NOS is like a selection mechanism by itself. How can we help this selection mechanism help you to get the right news? 
So by making a news profile is what we were thinking. We can, uh, in our test, we just made it very simple. It loads up uh, your uh, tweets. Um, like uh, my buddy and I, we are, we are linguists, so we, we made stuff with language technology before. Um, and basically, what we made was a, a thing that looks at your Twitter. It looks at stuff that comes up in a, in a search for your name, this kind of things, your location. And with this, we uh, make a kind of profile, like which kind of topics interest you and what kind of keywords are related to these topics and what other topics are related to those keywords. So kind of like a very broad graph. Um, it looks at your personal history as far as possible. Where did you live before maybe? Or where did you go on vacation? Um, and it looks at influences. So is there any important people that you like to follow or whatever that, that you care about? Um, together this forms your profile and this affects the delivery. So which stories do you care about to which degree? So there are several types of delivery in this medium, the bot, which is either uh, it's, it's gonna be in a summary somewhere, like it's, uh, it's uh, funny enough or interesting enough to hear, but you don't care about this much, or you care about it so much that you want to be informed when it happens or as soon as possible, or you don't care about it at all and you know, it gets filtered out. Um, so the delivery, the type of delivery, so does it get delivered? How much information gets delivered? When does it get delivered? All depends on how much do, does this person care about the content plus how important is the content? Because if there's like a terrorist attack in your city, everyone should know about it basically, right? Um, so, but then uh, you will never have enough of this information. Not everyone has a public Twitter profile. Uh, you know, not everyone is as outspoken. And we, so we measure this, like we measure in percentages, how sure are we of your interests? So from 0% to 100%. If it's low, we try to ask more. If it's high, it's good enough for now. Then we get our feedback. If you look at a story, it gets a plus, basically. So you don't have to upvote or downvote like consciously, it's just if you react to the story, it means you're interested in this area. If you don't react to the story, it's not a big minus, but after a few, like after you ignored all the stories about a certain topic, that's a minus, right? So this news profile gets updated with feedback. There's other ways to get feedback, like we can ask you for keywords, we can maybe poll you, like what do you think about this or whatever. Um, so this is basically NOS Buddy. Uh, I'll give a quick preview. Oh, sorry. Mm. So it works like this. Someone says hi. Uh, why do I got the page? So I said hi, and it said, uh, well, nice to meet you. I'm the news bot. This is the, well, the emoji are not nice because this is Windows, but on your phone, this looks great. <laughs> uh, it says the date, the weather for today and tomorrow, and then some few major topics. Okay, uh, I wanna get to know you. Can I have your Twitter handle? So I have the Twitter handle of this guy here prepared because it worked so well for him. <laughs> we just demoed it with him before, so. Uh, and he gets, so he's a tech journalist, so he gets like only tech articles. And apparently, United States elections, because he cares about that. And apparently, he wrote some of these articles himself, yeah. So you get some preview of like, uh, and because this guy is so outspoken on the internet, like, we can basically be sure uh, of what he's interested in about. So these articles are just a selection of the last day or two days of what is relevant. But after this, we can basically, we have his profile, we can provide him with news in a way that suits him. Um, like we can ask him for more topics, but I'm not interested in that right now. And after that, we give him the choice. So, oh, it's happening again, Felix. What do you do? <laughs> so normally, normally now you get a choice of uh, uh, delivery. You get a choice of, uh, do you want to have the news? Do you want to have a daily summary? Do you want to be informed about specific topics? Do you want the video of the daily journal, uh, the daily uh, journal, the the news report? Um, and if you come back, you can always start a conversation. You can look for news on uh, keywords, for example. Does it work? Does it work? 
It might bug out, okay. Well, usually you could, ah, yes, it works. So you could just pick a topic and then get the recent news. It doesn't work. <laughs> it did work. <laughs> anyway, and it works for Facebook, it works for Telegram, whatever, it's all, we all got the. Um, so that's the bot itself. Um, the future would be that like the NOS can help us in one very important way is that they rank their stories. Maybe like A, B, C or something where A is like a terrorist attack, B is, uh, I don't know, like a new a presidential election or and C would be, I don't know, like something less, and then D, E, F, you know, like stuff that everyone should know versus stuff that only would be interested if it happens in your village or whatever, like this kind of ranking. And with that, you can really filter the news because you don't want the bubble, you don't want to create a bubble for people, right? You don't want to go all personal either. Uh, and it's nice to have stuff to make this media more effective, like make the, to make the, what's Redoxy in English? the editing staff basically, to make them more involved in the creation of this medium. But uh, yeah, that all speaks for itself. Uh, that's it guys, thank you. Um, how would you work with, um, w uh, w we send push notifications with our app with our news app, uh, uh, when there is breaking news, uh, like uh, Stephen Kreisweig in the Giro, um, how to work with that to give people who use the messenger bot to give them oh push notifications? Uh, well, right now you get push notifications for everything. Uh, if there's a if there's a daily summary, for example, or if that's if there's a breaking topic, that's just a Facebook Messenger um, setting. So I don't think they opened the API yet to, to allow uh, you to send messages that don't get a notification separately and then blah, blah, blah. But yeah, making, like, doing push notifications is no problem, but not doing push notifications is a problem, basically. <laughs> if in the Facebook medium, yeah. Um, I'm curious, because you said we look at, like, your past and where you live and stuff like that. Um, does it only work with Twitter or how do you? No, the, the past uh, stuff is, uh, for example, from LinkedIn. It's uh, because people say their working place and then you can very easily see that. Um, and on Facebook, they all say if they go on vacation, this kind of things. So if you link to the Facebook profile, yeah. How about privacy? Well, people like they don't give what they what they don't want. You know, if they don't want to share, they don't want to share. But the the point is like you just care about the concepts. So basically, you just watch the Twitter feed once, and uh, if the person is satisfied with using the app, like you're not gonna look at all their tweets again. Like you just need to have the concepts that they're interested in. If they're interested in keeping using the app, you can see that they keep using it, so there's no problem. If they stop using it, you try to ask them, like, you know, why are you not using it? So, like, you know, for privacy, you're not gonna keep checking their tweets or their Facebook or whatever. You can just cut this. It's just a one-time, like a bootstrapping. You could do this with just asking them what they're interested in, but that's so troublesome, so that's why this is just the first step. It's just bootstrapping. We have a question from the audience. Um, well, first of all, great presentation. I was just curious um, about the data points um, that you that face the Facebook API is providing you, and also could you tell us a little bit more about the differences of coding up the Telegram bot versus a Facebook Messenger bot? Thanks. Sorry. So, so the API, the Facebook API, um, what kind of data points does it provide? Um, can you only look at the public profile? Can you look at, say, the list of friends that the person uh, has? Can you look at all the likes? Can you look at the Facebook groups the person is a member of, and so on? Um, the Facebook API is, well, the Messenger platform isn't very open. You basically only get free access to someone's first name, last name, birth year, if they've put it in, like, a few, like, uh, personal info stuff. That's about it. Like, you can't go through uh, friends or whatever. They might add it in the future, I'm not sure, but that's pretty limited at the moment. I hope they give uh, the option, like, with the consent of the user, of course, that you might uh, check out who the friends are, what they're interested in, maybe. Uh, 
Telegram. Yeah, fa- <laughs> the Telegram bo- Telegram has a better um, platform to work with. They have a lot more options. There are some points where Facebook is easier for users to read. Like Facebook has the uh, horizontal sliding of several uh, articles. Uh, like you can just put uh, stuff uh, next to each other so you won't have an entire waterfall of images or whatever. That's a one plus point, but um, Telegram is way, be- way easier to use and you can have a lot more options as a developer as well as a user. So Any last questions still? Last one and then we'll go to the last presentation. Um, have you thought about how you handle shifting um, interests? So if you're interested in football and then suddenly in cycling? Like the um, stop, like the stop of interest in something is easy. Like you know, someone is interested in the World Cup, but not in the Champions League, for example. That might be a lot of people. That's easy because people will tell you. But like being interested in new thing is hard. The discovery thing. I think there's a new like discovery problem over there, which might be easier to do in like a social way. Like that's that's a new problem, I guess. Discovery. Yeah, definitely. You could maybe ask to do the Twitter again, for instance. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks a lot. Um, I think we're going to do that. Oh, yeah, applause, of course. Now we're going to go over to the last ones. Can I hand it to... Hi, hello. Uh, my name is Milat. Uh, this is Desiree. Um, we actually didn't have that much time to create a uh, a big presentation. We had a few hours of one hour actually. Um, in that one hour, we created Paperbot, not Paperboy, but Paperbot. Your smart news assistant. And Paperbot is actually a. He will talk more about technology stuff. Um, we created Paperbot because of the uh, several pains we have as uh, news consumers. The first thing is um, news is not personalized. A lot of people don't, a lot of youth, a lot of people don't um, read news because it's not beneficial for them. It's not uh, related to, th- uh, to their uh, own preferences, their own interests. And um, also for NOS, it's also a problem for a lot of news agencies. Uh, they can't um, please everybody 
with their own style of articles and writing. So um, Paperbutt does it. And the solutions are um, user behavior. Uh, it will behave on your uh, user preference. What time do you read? Uh, how long do you read? Uh, do what kind of articles do you like? Um, um, yeah. Um, excuse me for the uh, latex, whatever, it's just like a typo. But basically the idea is that because we are now in a period where we're searching for more personalized information, something that makes sense to us and not only for the crowd. Uh, we've been having the age where people were going through the media, I mean the television, uh, magazine and so on. But then just like you, for example, I'm not checking the, the, the mass media news. I'm going mainly on Twitter. Um, I used to go on Facebook, but now actually it feels like the quality of the news on Facebook is kind of decreasing. So I myself also is looking for a way to get some more personalized information. And that's why the bot could be that way. Uh, but can sound a little bit impersonal, but at the same time, they can speak to you the way you want them to speak. If you're interested by something like uh, sport news, then you check, you contact your bot, your bot will actually provide to your feed only the news that, contact the, that concern the sport. If you're interested by, I don't know, the, the, the worldwide, uh, the, the, the politics or whatever, you just put some keywords, and then depending on the service you choose, you'll be provided the feed that matters to you. And eventually, if you want to have some broader uh, center of interest, you can also do that by following some uh, groups, uh, followers, who will be then also retweeting or resending messages that you'll be having on your thread. So this is the technology. I mean, these are the motivation that made us start with the bot. So as we said, we didn't have that much time. We created this landing page with actually uh, this presentation. And also, we managed to um, have actually uh, try to create a Facebook robot. Um, no. This one. We created a page here. That is actually the, the page that will host the Facebook bot. Uh, we also couldn't really make m our mind about the two technologies. We then included Telegram in it because Telegram is brand new, uh, promise, uh, I mean, give the promises of uh, safety, security of the data. I mean, brand new, they're like two, three years old. But compared to, for example, the billion users of Facebook, we wouldn't be reaching the same people. So even though we're not defending the, um, uh, the, the values that are behind Facebook, the fact is that in media, we need also to reach a broader range of people. And so far, Facebook, by opening their uh, developer platform, is giving us some tools to develop new and creative ideas to bring up to, to the users n the, the news that interest them. Uh, the main asset of that Facebook page is the um, message item, of course. Because if you contact the, b the bot, you can like the page and then you'll get some automatic message providing you with a hello, welcome, whatever you want to put there. And then you can feed that bot with the info that you want to bring it. You will feed it if you follow the process properly, which unfortunately, the time given wasn't enough for us. You will go through that platform, which is actually the brain of the bot. So through that platform, basically, you provide all the, the, the dialogue that will be then fa that will feed then your Facebook bot or your Twitter bot or whatever, that then will feed your user demand. Uh, so that's what we did on one way. Then the second way was the Twitter bot. Enough, not enough time, unfortunately, and also it's a very painful process. So, okay, I'm not gonna show details of the keys, but basically the idea here is that we create a Twitter robot that will then retweet the um, news or the information that matters to you uh, based on your demand. So Twitter bot can get the infos. So for example, you put some keywords. Uh, I designed some Twitter bots in some personal projects and uh, I'm gonna show you, for example, here, I put the keyword uh, CP uh, dash CP EU4. And when I click it, then it shows me actually the tweet, uh, three tweet. I selected it, I limited it to three tweets. The three tweets that have been listed, that have been sent now, now actually on, on Twitter feed, and that are actually mentioning the, the keyword uh, CPU4. Here we see, for example, five minutes ago I tried it before the, the test. And it shows, well, some Brazilian people were there thanking for the event and so on. And now I'm just doing it also, it's real time data. So based on what you need, you can get this, you can then uh, process them, gather them, and then you can also post them on your Twitter page if you want to. And you can then process for whatever you want to do. Uh, of course, 
I'm not a professional in journalism, so he will decide what he wants the bots to do, and then the developer or the technique people can either maintain the bots or also teach the, 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 the journalist or the media people on how to operate them. Maybe not the development part, but just by feeding, for example, the bots with the infos and then uh, trying to make the best out of it. The outcome would be um, the outcome would be it would be reliable and also uh, informative news on personalized uh, level. Um, also, a thing, an important thing is you can make it a smart, smart assistant by learning your own techniques. You know, as a journalist, uh, you have to think of the ethics, you have to think of the uh, um, the reliability of the news level. Uh, is it true what you're saying? Uh, is it possible to discuss something with other people? Is, is it even possible to discuss with your own chatbot to start a conversation about the news uh, uh, environment? So I think with uh, with these possibilities and uh, by uh, the the learning technology, uh, we can really make the smart uh, news assistant. Yes. Thank you very much. Some questions? Oh yeah, of course. Where's the applause? Do you have a question? Um, just like I, as the other groups before, um, how would you think about important news? How would you uh, send important things like uh, when there is an attack or other big things that every we want everyone to know? How would you uh, uh, let the bot know that and how would the bot let the people know that? If it's breaking news. Because if it's for a tech level, I can give some infos. If it's more about how he want me to implement the usage of the bot, then uh, he'll be the one answering. Okay. So technically, the bot, uh, we can actually s make it operate manually or we can make it operate automatically. Like if I want to get all the tweets that are being sent within certain time range that are mentioning uh, the campus party or for example, if there is a refugee crisis, then he will actually get these infos through Twitter. I mean, Twitter is a channel, could be also Facebook. The thing is Facebook is more closed, so you cannot actually scrap all the infos from Facebook. And then what you do with this data, you can maybe make kind of um, a cloud, um, a chart that will show what are the, the most important words based on the frequency where they appear, and then you can repost it to your page, to your magazine, to whatever. And usually this match pretty well the reality. When there are crises, people talk more about it on the media, especially Twitter, and then you can get it and use it in the purpose of your um, magazine, for example. I think that's, that's yeah. I'm, I'm just looking at the time as well, so maybe, we, yeah, sorry, but maybe we should just think a bit about who, uh, because uh, first of all, I think a big applause for every one of you. I see a lot of tired, tiring faces. I'm a bit tired as well, although I didn't do, I was only here today and Thursday, of course. Um, let, let just give us a few minutes and we'll be back. Um, but first of all, I want to say thank, thanks a lot for, to everyone. I f I'm really surprised by the different uh, ways of approaching a bot um, uh, and what you guys have been accomplishing in the last few hours. We're so we're ready. <laughs> um, Nando is going to to uh, to uh, uh, say the, the things we thought about and what we've discussed. Um, uh, so the floor is for Nando. Right. Well, uh, first, like you say, said we were very impressed with what you did today. Um, 
uh, you didn't have a lot of time and you make some couple of great things. Um, we like, for example, that some of you use Telegram and others use Messenger. So that you really thought that the, the, the platform you want to use is uh, also because Telegram has a lot more options. Um, and it was also funny to see that you all thought about something different. Uh, which g g really gives the thought that we can really do a lot of things with chatbots. And the possibilities are endless. Which means that we need to think about a lot of how we want to implement it at the end. So that's great. Uh, I want to, to point to some uh, uh, things of each of you. Um, first, the one, the, the, the first one, which uses Telegram and uses the buttons. I think it was really good that you, you can just choose things which make it very easy, very low key, uh, which is good because people don't have much time, just, just want to press and just want to get news back. So that's really great. Um, and uh, I really, really would know uh, how you would uh, bring it further. Um, uh, I don't know if you know the Quartz app, how they, the, the, the app from Quartz. Yes, uh, um, and I think it, it, it's, it has a bit of the same things because you, you push just, you push a button and then you get more. So um, I was wondering if you want to do uh, more natural language, not from the, the, the article, headlines with just uh, some uh, summaries of things like that. So I think that's a great idea. Yes. Um, your one, uh, also with Telegram, uh, which has more of a summary. Uh, we were really impressed by the summary, so it was really good. And uh, what I liked about it is that you, uh, it, it, you was using natural language. So you have really a conversation, which is in the end very important because we want to have a conversation with people. Um, so that was really great. So thank you for that. Your one with the messenger bot. Um, it was really good. Um, what we liked about it is that it kind of knew it directly and especially with me which subjects I liked, which is good. Um, uh, what is very uh, uh, hard for us is to, to know how much of personalization we want to, to inject and how much of the top stories. But it has some nice things, and uh, besides our normal app, it's just really different, so it's good. And your app is about a bit the same. You, uh, your app is more about uh, uh, make it personal, which is great, which is good. Um, and it shows some really potential things, like you want to be a really assistant. And that is something to think about. How can we be assistant to the other people? Um, and like now, we just have an app which which it tells you other news and it's good for us to think about how we can more be a personalized assistant. And that is something you all had. So thank you for that and thank you about thinking that for us. Um, uh, and I just need to announce the winner, I think. Um, and we choose this at the end, the NOS body. So congratulations. <laughs> and maybe let's explain a bit why we choose you is because, well, you... Uh, you can go up, yes, sure. <laughs> we have a small goodie bag. Yeah. Uh, and I think we liked it that you uh, not only thought about the, the technology, but also about the journalistic side of the app, which for us is really, really important. Uh, and the thing I thought was really great that you also talked about top, top stories. In our app, we use the top stories to uh, uh, edit the stories, which is very, very important for us, the top stories. Um, so that is, besides the personalization of the app, also thinking about how can we uh, make a mix about top stories, and make a mix about the things we think as NOS is important, because we know some things are important for people, besides the personalization. And uh, I like the emojis, which was great. So, yeah, you also have, of course. So thank you very much. Then um, the thing is, I'll contact you guys because I'd like to you to have it presenting at our uh, office, and then uh, also we we can do a tour, and you can uh, you have to choose which kind of TV show you want to visit. We have a lot the Studio Sparks or the or the or the or the Journal. Um, I suggest that we just do a group picture because I'm really happy that we had one, two, th four four teams, four groups. Uh, working on it, um, um, especially because we're the well, we're almost the last one. I think there's another final now, but anyways, I'm very happy that you guys um, decided to go for content and not for the big prizes and just be here today and and make a great thing out of it. So I should just just all come up to stage.
I will do a group picture also with you guys. Maybe maybe she can make it for us. And uh, really, thanks a lot. Uh, and w I have to say one more thing. Can't talk all I'm just gonna do it like this. If you guys ever think um, I want to discuss things further about the NOS, well, I, I said I'm for it. If you have any questions about it, you can write in the chat. If you have my contact details, email me or text me or whatsoever. I'm always happy and interested to hear about your thoughts and your things. Uh, and also, we're also as always looking for developers and people who want to work here. Picture. Oh, <laughs> 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 we say NOS. 